one, um, always very dedicated. So Mr. Sealer has always been that way to where it's just like, oh my gosh, you know, he's got a drive and a passion for what he does. And that's something that, that really in his martial arts career has taken him so many places. Uh, I remember when he was uh, teaching and he would come in and he would teach at nighttime after working a long, hard day of doing construction. And, um, you know, I just remember being very personable, you know, um, uh, but very passionate about teaching martial arts and making sure everybody got it right. Here, I can't change my level. My head's getting in the way. His head's getting in the way. Boom. And then you turn it around. Remember, you, know, you got your head too far in the middle. Remember, you bump and the head goes to the outside. Now you push with us. He is a tough guy, but he has a heart of gold. You know, um, there's never been a time where someone's walked up to him and said, hey, Mr. Siegler, I really need to ask your advice, or hey, Mr. Siegler, I, can I sit down and talk with you, that, that he's just not giving them the time of the day. You know, if someone is looking for wisdom, if someone's looking to train beneath him and learn, he is definitely willing to do that. He has my heart all wrapped up, obviously, and, he, and he's been able to help along with my mom to shape me into the person I am because of the kindness, because of the love, because of the compassion that he has for changing people's lives. There's a respect, you know, if not some would say fear, but a definite respect for Mr. Siegler. He's stern, but fair. He's definitely always pushing you harder and pushing you out of your comfort zone. Um, so he's really made me grow as a person, as a leader, um, and as a teammate over the years. And I would probably say the same thing for um, Daniel and for my kids and for all of our team members. So the more you learn the small details, the easier it's going to be able to do. Because most of the time it's like brute strength. I've always coached at some level. But my coaching style before and now, vastly different. I break things down, I fundamentalize things that I did not do before Mr. Siegler. Some of that is watching him as he instructs and he has developed that over the years and I've developed right along with him. See, he's not exactly not having a good reaction fast. He's definitely uh, influenced who I am as a, a Christian um, person and also as a wife, you know, it's been an example. I mean, they've gone through rough times. They've gone through great times. They've gone through the ups and downs that any marriage does, but they've taught us how to have a lasting relationship. I'm, I'm just very thankful that I learned so much from him and his influence in helping to raise and parent my child. You just have a contest, come here. You just hit the softest. So you can hit the softest, you go first. You won. <laughs> you won. Now get over here. One, two, three. Yay! Mr. Siegler's influence has spread not just inside of the doors of Siegler's Karate Center, but outside as well. He really makes it his purpose to come in every single day and be the best him that he can be, so that way he can provide to so many other people. Uh, where you were. You were here like this, and, and you were getting loose, and you were coming around, and, and if the other person's head would have, would have been there, you'd have hit him with an elbow. Well, I, there's no doubt he's intimidating. He looks gruff, and he, you know, he's kind of short sometimes with his answers, but understand behind that, there is a heart of gold. Yes, he demands. All good coaches demand from you. All good instructors demand from you. I don't want somebody who pats me on the back when I do something stupid. I don't want somebody who berates me either, and he doesn't do either. Saying elbows in, exactly. Or, do it again, elbows out, no. Lock them, lock them like this, bring them back. Yes, now it's better. Two, three, the third time, bring your foot down and put your foot back. Fifteen years ago, I remember there being about 50 students, 60 students, and it was a part-time school. It was Tuesdays and Thursday evenings and Saturday mornings. That was it. The thing about it moving forward, we've become a professional martial arts school that runs six days a week and not just like one or two classes a day, like 12, 13, 14 classes and another location. I mean, Mr. Seeger's taken us 
he's a leader he's not a boss he's going to lead us to where we need to go research where we need to go and take us there and make sure we're facilitated along the way I can't thank you enough and the fact that you have brought me into your family and you treat me like a family member again another honor that I, I just can't repay at all ever I love you dad you deserve this and this is an awesome and amazing opportunity to showcase who you are to the whole entire world Mwah.